Hi everyone, it's Vicky here with four holiday cards today. I will be showcasing four different die sets from the latest release by my favorite things. So let's start with my favorite, which is the perfect poinsettia. I picked a red and a green cardstock from my Tim Holtz paper pad and I will be using the dies to cut out all the shapes that I need. Now, as you can see, you get two uh, flowers, a smaller and a bigger one, but for each one of them, I'm going to cut out two shapes. So I will have two of the bigger, two of the smaller. I am using uh, gold cardstock for the center of my poinsettia and I also cut out four leaves. I'm using my bone folder to add some uh, dimension on the petals and uh, I'm also going to use my fingers just to make sure that everything is nice and dimensional and at the center of each poinsettia I'm going to add a tiny little uh, foam dot and I will stack one on top of the other. You can of course make your uh, flower by using only two of those uh, flowers, the big and the smaller one, but the more you add the fuller the flower will end up looking. So I will continue doing the same thing and every time I stack uh, one of those uh, flowers on top of the rest I make sure that I offset them slightly so that it, I get a fuller look. I will end up having a really dimensional flower which is going to look gorgeous on top of the card. If you don't want to have such dimension don't use your bone folder and just stick uh, the flowers one on top of the other directly. And of course omit uh, using the foam squares. Now I am going to work on uh, my card base and this is made out of Nina Desert Storm cardstock that's a four and a quarter by five and a half standard card and I will stamp on top of it with one of the new rubber stamps. This is called Christmas Background. It is a text stamp and it's going to give a lovely background on my card base full of Christmas sayings. Now I'm going to go all around the edges and nick them up a little bit with Vintage Photo Distress Oxide Ink. Now there are a couple of uh, sales that are running at the moment, I think just for today. I will put all the info on my blog in case you want to check them out. There are great sales and they are about Christmas products as well as about stamping products. Now I am adding some splashes on my background and I will add splashes on uh, the flower and the leaves as well. This is actually white gesso that I have diluted with water. And as always remember that you will find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using today down below in the description area. Now it is time to stamp my sentiment. I have prepared my card base with my anti-static powder tool and now I'm going to stamp my sentiment that says uh, holiday greetings. This comes from uh, a new stamp set which is called Hand Lettered Holiday Greetings. It's a lovely stamp set packed with sentiments in this lovely font. I'm stamping it with Versa marking and then I'm going to apply white embossing powder and heat set it. I used two rectangle frames one inside the other to create this uh, little frame out of gold cardstock and this matches the center of my poinsettia. I'm using uh, white glue at the back and I'm going to stick that on top of my card base just to have a lovely golden frame. And now it's time to stick down my flower. I'm using my white glue at the back again. And this is uh, Nouveau Deluxe. By the way, this glue is back in stock. It used to be out of stock for a long time, but uh, it's finally back. And I absolutely love this glue just because it never clogs on me. It has a lovely fine tip. And also I like it because it uh, grabs the paper quickly and it dries super quickly. So you don't have to wait a lot of time. And the first card for today using the lovely poinsettia dies is ready. I absolutely love this flower. And here are some close-up photos of the card. For my next card I will be using this new die set which is the Ho 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 one. And I will be using this glitter paper as well as this uh, red satin paper. These are both by Nuvo. I will be placing my Ho 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 die directly on top. This is actually meant to cut out the words and you can use them as sentiments for other cards but uh, for this card I'm going to use the negative space and I will turn it into a shaker card. 
And of course I can keep uh, the ho 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 words and use them on another card since they are made out of glitter cardstock and they are just gorgeous. I'm also going to hold on to these little pieces that go inside the words since I will be using them on my card later on. At the back of my glitter banner I used some acetate to cover up all those holes and I'm going to place the words on top so that I know exactly where I need to stick those little pieces. I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back and just place it there, in the middle of all the O's. I used foam tape at the back to create all those pockets and now I'm going to add my shaker mix. I'm using my handy little spoon there, this is by Nuvo, and I'm using the red carpet circles, these are by Nuvo as well. I'm going to peel off the backing and then stick my red panel on top. And here is the finished card, clean and simple in design, but really sparkly and so easy to recreate. For my next card I'm preparing a little panel here, this is slightly smaller than a standard card and I'm just inking it up with Distress Oxide inks. I'm using two shades here, the lighter one is tumbled glass and the darker one is broken china. I'm going to completely cover up uh, the card with my uh, tumbled glass and then with the darker shade I will go only at the edges. And when I'm using Distress Oxide inks, I cannot stay away from this technique, so I am adding some uh, splashes of water here. I'm going to leave them to react with the ink for a few seconds, and then I'm going to use my towel and blot the excess water. And I'm also going to add some white splashes on top of that. Again, I'm using a watered-down gesso with a thin brush. I used foam tape to stick it on my card base, and now let's take a look at the die set. This die set is called Filled with Joy, it comes with the word Joy and other die cuts that you can use instead of the letter O. So you can use this as an ornament along with uh, the string to hang it from the top of your card. Or you can use the snowflake or even you can use a little snowman that comes with a hat and a scarf and even a nose and this is what I will demonstrate for you today. I used uh, cardstock, colored cardstock, to cut out all the elements and now it's time to put everything together. Now you can cut out uh, the tiny little eyes and uh, the dots for the uh, mouth, but instead of fighting with all those tiny little pieces, I decided to just stick a piece of black cardstock at the back and I'm good to go. Now I'm going to stick on top the scarf and there are actually three pieces for the scarf. So you can stick one on top of the other to add dimension. I also used um, glitter paper to cut out the snowman head as well as uh, the letters J and Y. And I went with red for his scarf. I'm uh, giving him a black hat along with uh, a little uh, golden detail for the hat. And I also cut out the carrot nose out of orange cardstock. And uh, I absolutely love this die set, I think it gives you so many different combinations to create cards just by changing up all the elements for the letter O. And of course you can use the O as well. So I'm going to stick uh, the hat on top and I'm going to stick everything on top of my card. I'm using uh, foam squares at the back just to add some dimension, you know I love dimension on my cards. And I will finish it off by sticking a little sentiment just underneath the word joy and the sentiment comes again from a new stamp set from the latest release by my favorite things which is called filled with joy and my third card for today is ready here is a close-up look so you can check out all that sparkle and here are some close-up photos And let's move on to the last card for today where I will be using the Delightful Deer die set. But first let's work on the background. So I'm going to use a new stencil by my favorite things which is called Snow Flurry. And with my spatula I'm going to apply some texture paste. I'm working on a pale blue card cardstock that is slightly smaller than a standard card. So I'm going to lift the stencil. 
I'm just making sure that I remove the excess and put it back on the jar. I'm going to leave this to dry and I will work on my cutouts. Now to do all my cutouts I used my craft cardstock as well as some dark brown and some uh, red cardstock to cut out the little bird. And at the back, as you can see, I'm fighting with uh, some uh, 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 double-sided tape. I want to stick the little eyes inside the holes. And I have cut out the eyes from dark brown. So by adding some double-sided tape at the back, I do have somewhere to stick them on. And you can see here I have put everything together, like the antlers on one of the deer, as well as put together the little bird. Now I have uh, used some uh, dies to cut out these snow slopes and uh, stick them one on top of the other and uh, I'm going to stick those at the bottom of my panel and everything else on top. So I'm creating a little scene here and at the back of my deer I used some foam tape just to make sure that everything is leveled up. Now I'm going to use some white glue at the back of this panel and stick it on my card base and all that's left to do is to add the sentiment. I think this is a really stunning card, clean and simple in looking, but um, it is really easy to put together. And for a sentiment I went with one that says Happy Holidays that I stamped with uh, brown ink on top of my craft cardstock so it matches with the deer. And here is a close-up look on the last card for today. I hope you had fun and you got inspired today. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of those four die sets was your favorite. Also make sure to visit my blog and check the awesome sales. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.